Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to our Minnesota Twins discussion videos. That's right, you've seen the title. I want Miguel Sano gone. I want him off the Twins. I want him so far away, he never has to play another game in, tar in Target Field ever again. That's not true. I do want him traded, and we're going to talk about that today. But, uh, no, I, I really like the guy, and I hope him, I wish him the best. So let's talk about it. I want Miguel Sano traded, and I don't think that this is, you know, likely. Uh, but I do think it would be a great idea for the Twins. Uh, and, and I know before you guys start typing down in the comments, you probably already typed something. Uh, but give me a chance here. Let me explain. And then we can talk about it in the comments. That's what this video is all, all about. So let's talk about this. So Miguel Sano, uh, you know, I want him traded. I think that it's a time that we've said our goodbyes and that we give him a shot with somebody else because we'll start from the beginning. Let's just go all the way back to the beginning, 2015, when Miguel Sano, Eddie Rosario, Kepler, Buxton, all these guys were coming to the Twins. And we were in a bad place at this time. We were, geez, I should have pulled it up, but probably the worst team in the AL. Like, <laughs> we were that bad. We were terrible. And, you know, things looked positive. We, we started developing these rookies, developing uh, some other players, grabbing some other guys from, uh, you, you know, other teams, some trades and some signings. But nothing nothing like we've done this offseason. You know, we this is the first time that we've actually done something with the team, and it's awesome. But previously, we we signed some, some young talent, and we've worked them up through the minor leagues and really tried to utilize them. However... It's 2019 now, four years have passed, and where is Miguel Sano, right? So I know I made a video on this, what, three, four, five days ago maybe, uh, saying, you know, it's Miguel Sano, he's all new, he's all improved, let's go, he's going to be hitting 25, 30, 40 home runs, he's going to be the MVP, all-star, everything, so right? So that was the old uh, Brent, that was, uh, that was last week. <laughs> this week, I really started thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? Marwin Gonzalez is now on the team. We don't have space for one guy, right? One guy's got to go. Uh, and, and I'm not saying we need to cut him, but, like, one guy's got to go. Why not Miguel Sano? Like, right? It rhymes. It's, it's the rhyme, too. So here's 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 uh, back to the beginning. So Miguel Sano came into the league in 2015 with the, with the other guys. And, I mean, I had huge expectations for him. I'm sure you all did if you're a Twins fan. Even if you're not a Twins fan, uh, hearing this guy come up, you know, he was a monster of a player, and he was going to smash home runs. Like, we're talking about a guy who was in the home run derby, who was an all-star, rookie of the year, right? And we're talking about a guy who can launch home runs. So, I mean, he came in at the bottom, right? Everybody starts at the bottom. But I had expectations that he was going to be this great third baseman. He was going to be freaking good <laughs> and really where where is he at now like if he started here and he's supposed to be here my expectations were here but he's really here you know what i'm saying like he is probably about halfway maybe to where i expected him maybe less i'm not exactly sure but he is not where i think we all can agree where he should be you know like i said in that other video new and improved you know he's still batting 199 from last season he's still only got 41 rbis he had 13 home runs 71 games he was hurt he sucked for a long while during last season he got sent down to double a like this guy was bad last year and the year before that i mean it was his best season like i said his all-star season 28 home runs 77 rbis 264 average he was good then right and obviously you know you go through ups and downs you slumps you know what? It, it happens. But I was talking about it with someone, and I thought, I was like, you know what? With Marwin Gonzalez coming in, he needs a spot, right? We're not going to go spend $21 million on this guy for two years and then not give him a spot, right? So in that video when I talked about it, I was like, who's got to get cut? Somebody's going to get cut or traded uh, for somebody who can be, you know, Put down to the AAA and we can cut somebody down there or something. I don't know. But I was like, somebody's got to somebody's gotta get the boot. And I talked about, you know, a, a first baseman with Tyler Austin, CJ Cron maybe getting the boot. Not because he's getting the boot, but 
you know, we could get some value for him. Uh, Andre Anza, I talked about him too. I still think he could go. Um, just, you know, as a couple final pieces get put into play. But then I started thinking about Miguel Sano. And especially with Marwin playing third base yesterday in the uh, game versus Boston in spring training. Again, spring training doesn't mean that much. But I started thinking about it. And I was like, wow. You know, Miguel Sano's hurt. Uh, another injury, right? He's hurt. Why don't we just get rid of him? Because it's not that I don't like the guy. I should have prefaced it. I don't I don't not like him. I do like the guy. I think he's a good player. I, I would hate for him to leave. But it makes so much sense. Is This guy was a rookie of the year. He was an all-star. He was in the home run derby. He's new and improved, right? This is a guy who we could get some serious value for. I'm not talking like Clayton Kershaw, Dallas Keuchel kind of value. You know, we could still go sign Dallas Keuchel, which we should. but uh, Or, you know, freaking Craig Kimbrell. That would be great. You know, but I'm not talking to like he's not a guy who we could just switch, switch and swap and all that kind of thing for for one of those type of caliber players. But why not try to rebuild again? So, in my opinion, the Twins are really making a push this year, next year, maybe the year after that, depending on how you know these two years go. Because uh, we signed Marwin for two years, we signed Cruz for well a year, but then the club option. And a couple of the other guys, like Rosario, Kepler, who just got an extension, but before that, uh, you know, Buxton, these guys who have contracts extending uh, or, or contracts expiring in the next couple of years will probably get extensions. But, you know, before all this, it looked like these next three years are our shot. And so I thought about it. I was like, you know, we're really going hard. Why don't we sell Miguel Sano off for some really good prospects? I mean... Let's just start our rebuild now. And I'm not saying like rebuild is in, you know, tank like Kansas City or Detroit or something like that. But just let's sell a player or two, you know, get some value for him, start building him up. And then by the time, you know, aim that Royce Lewis and Alex Krilloff, I couldn't think of their names for some reason, right? Call me a Twins fan. But so why don't we start rebuilding? So by the time these guys come up in the next year, two years, we're going to have an even better team. You know, like, you know what they say. Take two steps forward, one step back. Two steps forward, one step back. You're always going to be getting farther. You don't want to be taking two steps backwards and one step forward because you're going in the wrong direction. So take two steps forward by getting Cruz and Marwin, but take one step backwards by getting rid of Snow to take two more steps forward with, let's say, two more prospects, and then, boom, looks like we're three steps ahead of where we were. So that's just my little analogy there, but I'm not exactly sure, you know, who we would go trade for. I don't know who we'd go sell him off to. That's not the point in this video, but the point is, what if we started selling off just a little bit? You know, because like I said, he's a great player, and if he is new and improved, that's going to help teams. Is he going to help the Twins? He might, but... Look at the two options, right? He helps the Twins. Where does Marwin play? Or do we sell him off? Marwin does really good, and we get some you know, leverage down in AAA that we can bring up. Is that a great option? I think so. And it's, again, it's not like I'm trying to just say, hey, we need to get rid of Miguel Sano because he's bad. He's, he's, he's struggling. You know, I've been a Twins fan for all my life. I've seen the struggles that we have, but... It's not like I don't want to. I don't want to just give up on him. It's mainly because you look at the talent that we have right now and the talent that's coming up. We're not gonna have spots for all these guys, and I'm not saying Miguel Sano is in his prime, but if he does do really well this season, that's a great piece that we could just. He's. He, he, I don't want to say he's expendable, but like he would be a great piece to go pull some young talent in and really work towards in the future when when Kriloff and Lewis come up or even the years after that because they're you know they might struggle in their rookie season we rebuild for one season but we'd already have the pieces in play to push the next two three years if we don't you know want to sign Marwin to a long-term contract you know for six six more years or whatever when he's you know 35 so that's the kind of thing I'm looking at here and I want to know your opinion like I know that it's probably not the you know 
it's probably not gonna happen right because the twins you know they've invested so much into him but is it an idea is it would it would it work like let me know how you would see this playing out if if the twins did preside, decide to pursue this option um again though it's not gonna happen if it does that's crazy i called it first uh but then it's an idea it, because why would we keep bringing in pieces where we already have guys we bring in marwin who can play anywhere but he plays third base why do we need two third basemen and we can't move miguel snow over to first because we already have two first basemen and if we put Marwin at second, well, we already have three second basemen. It's like, where do you put all these guys? We're running out of room for the talent that we have. And I'm not saying that's a bad problem. Like, we have good talent. We just don't have enough spots on the field to put them anywhere. So, sell them off. Rebuild just a little bit. We don't have to do full tank rebuild. Just rebuild your minor league system a little bit. Get some prospects and push the next couple of years. This is what the Yankees do every season. They go buy a great player, sell them off for prospects, and rebuild by losing one little player at a time so they're not tanking their whole team. They just you know, work themselves up from their, their AAA teams and their, their prospects, sell one guy off, make some money, go invest in some more prospects. It's a cycle. That's why they're good every year. If the Twins did this, not saying they'd be the Yankees, but this is what the Yankees, this is the formula the Yankees use. Why don't the Twins, like, if it works, you know, don't fix what's not broken, right? So, we're kind of, well, not that we're broken, but, like, you know what I'm saying here is if it works, copy it. Do what the Yankees do. That's how you beat them. So, that's that's my opinion uh, on, that, on that topic, but trade Miguel Sano. Let's see what happens. Uh, I want to know your opinion, though. This is a fantastic discussion. I do want to know your opinion. We can have hours and comments and all that down in the comments below i do want to talk about this uh, i think it was just a crazy idea and it's definitely something we're sharing so that's all i have for you today make sure to leave a like subscribe if you want more content i'll be back tomorrow more twins news and uh we'll probably do a recap uh tomorrow as well so that's all i got make sure to leave a like subscribe and we will see you tomorrow peace out